Well, finally, gang. Here I am. How are you? I'm very good. I feel great. I really do. Um, South County Hospital's done a hell of a job with me. Um, when I came in here, I was in pretty rough shape, as you can imagine. I'd like to put a big thanks for the staff here. What was going through your mind when you were treading water for nine hours? Death. Death. What more can I tell you? That was that was my first impression. I mean, it came back a couple of times, but um, I got over that. I calmed down. I relaxed myself. I came up with a plan and uh, executed that plan. And uh, I was found right where I thought I might wind up. Can you tell us what your plan was? When I went when I went off the boat, um, of course it was initial shock, and then you just you know just kind of like. Watch your boat go away. What are you doing? A life jacket. You know you're in a tough spot. There's no question about that. I mean, I gave myself 90% death, 10% survival right down there. But I said I'll give it a shot. So I figured out the tides, which way the tide was going. The tide was going outbound towards Block Island. So I said if I conserve my energy and just do a nice slow breaststroke, I've seen, I've seen it done before. I've seen animals offshore. I've seen dogs offshore, and. Um, I'm gonna give it a try, you know. That's my plan, so I stuck with my plan. Um, I figured sooner or later, hopefully they'd launch a search. So I figured the longer I could stay on top of the water, the more of a chance I had to save me. Well, he's coming back from uh, the North Rip, Block Island, and uh, heading for Watch Hill. And I was cruising along about 18, 20 knots, and uh, you know, it was really hot. And my boat has a full cabin, full windshield, hard top, and quarter sides. I do this a lot. I'll just grab the wheel and grab the, the handle on this side and just, you know, put my foot up and just catch a breeze going by. Well, the moment I made that move, the, the starboard bow of the boat went down like this and the port uh, stern went up like this, almost like in a broaching condition. And when that happened, it just launched me right out. I mean, my center of gravity was off the side of the boat and there was no recovery from that. It was just gone. When you saw that boat drifting away, I mean, what was going through your mind? It wasn't drifting, it was power. How, what was going through your mind? I'm in a real bad spot. I'm probably going to die. Like I said, I went around the break wall, I tried to swim in, and I didn't have much energy at all left. And when I saw the what turned out to be a 47-foot boat coming at me, it, the way the lights were on it, and you know my condition hallucinating half the time, um, it looked like a C-130 coming in like this on a bank, you know, because you could hear the diesel engines and whatnot, you know. And the guy finally uh, said, well, I yelled at the top of my lungs, which I was trying to do to every boat I passed, so I could, you know, but odds of them here. But anyways, these guys were on the ball. They heard me. They stopped the boat, said, stay right where you're at, pulled up to the side of me, handed me a boat hook. I was figuring maybe a life ring, but it was a boat hook to tell you what kind of mode they were in. And, uh, to grab one, and then I got to the side of the boat. I said, "Guys, and I got nothing." You know, they just threw me right boat. And that was it. It was over. Severe hypothermia. I couldn't stand. Couldn't couldn't move. Carried me into the cabin, and that was it. And sometimes when you hear these stories, it goes unmentioned is that there was a hell of a lot of stress put on my family. Um, I don't know. I can't imagine what that's like. But they've told me what it was like um, the first couple hours maybe you'd be rescued and then pretty much it was a recovery mission after that so they were making preparations for that so it's quite stressful on the family um if there's any real good positive lesson wear your life jacket be very careful out there because it's an unforgiving thing